Hey, welcome to Too Long, Didn't Care. I'm your host, Koi Mack, and today we're going to be talking about the Suleimani drone strike killing assassination, whatever you want to call it, because everybody has different names for it. I say justified, everybody else says assassination, so. This whole thing started because this guy right here was killed uh, via drone strike in Iraq um, at the airport, the international airport there. And this guy, by all accounts, is a ginormous monster, not only by us, but most of the world. He haunted a shit ton of people. He was responsible for massive killings, both in Iraq and Iran and throughout the Arab world. He is also responsible for training many, many terrorist organizations uh, that we actually fought again in Afghanistan and Iraq. So I do not shed a tear for this guy. But you know who does shed a tear for this guy? Uh, Rose McGowan and John Cusack. Because apparently Trump is in full fascist 101 mode, steal and lie unless there's nothing left to nothing left and start a war. He's so idiotic. He doesn't know. He just attacked Iran. And that's not like anywhere else. I, I beg to differ. There's tons of places in the world where people kill each other and start wars. So we just happen to be better at it than most people but we won't even get into the fact that you know obama killed a crap ton of people started the whole thing with libya and you know benghazi we'll go down that road because it'll take too long to get there but anyway that's not the only thing we have rose mcgowan and her brilliantness uh who says dear Iran, the u.s has disrespected your country your flag and your people 52 percent of us humbly apologize so half roughly half of the united states apologizes to Iran. After we already gave you billions of dollars in secret money and cash um, in the middle of the night. But we're not going to talk about that because we don't talk about what Obama did. We're only talking about what Trump did because fuck that guy. Anyway, so we are now being held hostage by a terrorist regime. Terrorist. Hmm, strong choice choice words. Uh, I would beg to differ. I think ISIS would be a terrorist regime. But, you know, sure. Orange man bad. Terrorist. But... We do not know how to escape. Well, yeah, most of us do. I mean, if it really was a tyrannical tyrant in government power, you would use the Second Amendment, which you're so against, uh, to actually, you know, do something about it. But you're weak, cowardly people, and you sit in your ivory towers in Hollywood and, I don't know, jerk yourselves off. Who knows? Anyway, please don't kill us. Hashtag Suleimani. Because if that wasn't even better enough, uh, Iran also put on a $80 million bounty, probably going to be paid with the money that we gave them. Uh, and George Lopez come out and said, we'll do it for half. Because, you know, Secret Service don't check that kind of thing. And when you say that you would do the assassination of a sitting president for half the money, which is $40 million, uh, probably isn't a good thing. But whatever, we'll, we'll move on from there. There's also the Washington Post. Uh, reporter who was slammed over comparison of Trump inauguration to Suleimani funeral. As you can see here, Trump inauguration, Suleimani's funeral. Now, I, I, I get you're trying to be like bombastic as much as possible as you possibly can, but not the same. Not the same. They also were carrying the dude in a um, Chevy, by the way, an American vehicle after he was drone striked by an American bomb, but whatever. We won't, we won't talk about that. So it's come down to the point today that we also have Pelosi, who wants to limit Trump's actions in Iran with the World Powers, uh, War Powers Resolution vote. This week, the House will introduce a vote on the War Powers Resolution to limit president's military action uh, regarding Iran. Pelosi wrote in a letter. It reasserts Congress's long-established oversight responsibilities by mandating that if no further congressional action is taken, the administration, uh, the administration, military's hostilities will, with regard to Iran, will cease within 30 days. Because you know, fuck it, when Obama did it, and you just kept bombing Libya and every other country that we weren't at war with, by the way, um, and then ignored ISIS and completely. I don't even know what the fuck we were doing in Libya, but you know, as ISIS was running in Syria and Iraq. Uh, that led to this whole fucking mess in the first place. But, you know, hey, you do you, man. You do you. This is this is this is why I think the the left are bullshit artists, simply from the point that they could have stopped a lot of this long a long time ago if they would have asserted their power in the first place. But they didn't. And you cannot blame Trump for trying to protect American lives because because this guy was bad. He was a bad 
bad dude. Uh, they <laughs> he was also responsible for exporting certain IEDs to Afghanistan and Iraq that killed hundreds of service members. So I do not feel sorry, and neither should you. This guy was an asshat that needed to go. Anyway, that's it for me today. I will see you next time. And wrap.